Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Ellerbeck, and today we will be talking about AWS CloudTrail versus Amazon CloudWatch. Both AWS CloudTrail and Amazon CloudWatch are part of the management and governance category. AWS CloudTrail is the newer of the services and was launched in 2013. CloudTrail records the activity on your account. As I've noted before, I like to add the letter P inside of CloudTrail to make it read API. So CloudTrail records which user or application made the API call, when the call was made, from what IP, and delivers an event within 15 minutes of the API call. Let's take a look. This is what CloudTrail looks like. Right now, I have it focused on looking at CloudFormation events. and We can see a create stack event that I created earlier and the information surrounding that event. We can search under various different things like event ID or name or resource name or type, and also various event sources. Where then does Amazon CloudWatch fall in the picture? Amazon CloudWatch is more established of the two. It was launched in 2009. It lets you monitor cloud resources and applications, collect and track metrics, log files, and set alarms, system-wide visibility into resource utilization, application performance, and operational health. It delivers an event within five minutes under basic monitoring, so different than that 15 minutes from the cloud trail, and it delivers an event within one minute if you have detailed monitoring enabled. Let's take a look. This is the CloudWatch Management Console. One of the very first alerts that you set up is a billing alert, so let's do that. Make sure that under Billing, that Receive Billing Alerts is enabled. Also, make sure you're in the North Virginia region. Click Billing, Create Alarm, select your metric, Billing, Total Estimated Charge, Select that metric. Let's do greater or equal than $1. Then we select an SNS topic. I've created one for billing. And then we're going to give this a name. And we have created our alarm. It'll take a while before it gathers data for that. Some other interesting things to touch on are the logs and log groups. This is where lambdas and all sorts of things can write out their logs. You have metrics for your various resources, like S3 storage metrics, EC2 metrics, or just usage metrics. We also have events and rules. So for example, if you wanted to trigger something, let's say when S3 storage service did something, you could add a various target. You could have it run a Lambda function or a step function or write to an SQSQ, all sorts of things. To quickly summarize, remember that for AWS CloudTrail, always remember that it has to do with the API, which user or application called the API, and it usually delivers an event within 15 minutes of the call. For Amazon CloudWatch, remember that it monitors cloud resources and applications, collects and tracks metrics, has log files, and you can set alarms. It delivers an event within five minutes under basic, or delivers an event within one minute under detailed monitoring. Thanks for watching, and hope you've enjoyed this brief discussion on the differences between AWS CloudTrail and Amazon CloudWatch.